Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about data logging in the Horner XL4 all-in-one controller. And this has been the easiest way to log data that I've ever seen in a PLC. And in fact, what it will do is actually log to the memory card in a CSV file so that you can automatically use um, applications such as um, Microsoft Excel or Notepad to actually pull that data out through our FTP and actually view that data. So we'll go through the setting it up and if we go to our existing program that I have up on my screen here, we'll go to program and then there's a data log configuration. We'll pull that up and what you'll see is we define, we enable it first, so we have to enable this. Then what we do is we add a group. In our case here, we're adding the P tank group. So um, if, if we also have at the bottom of the screen here on our data log configuration, our global attribute details. So we'll have our, our global attributes. So we're using the data log enable register as the always on bit, which is the uh, system bit seven. And our data log status register is at 3000. And details of this is at our website. So if you go over to that, it'll show you the details of what actually that uh, entails. Then we have, um, if we look at our P-Tank, we can um, go over here and then on, on the group attributes, we can put the data log file and we'll actually put P-Tank. So on our card, it'll actually be in a register, a registry called P-Tank. And what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna trigger the logging only. So if I look at the group attributes, call that up. You can see here, there's my manual trigger. It's on T. 102 which is my sequence tank empty and then on my data interval you see here's my uh, triggered uh, logging I can do it right now by that trigger that we set up here I could also do it by minutes or seconds and then determine exactly um, when I'm going to log it so I can log, log it every second then we have our data log uh, date format we can change that to anything we want and our timing format, we can change it. This allows us, when we look at that group, when it logs that data, to timestamp everything that we've logged as well with the real time clock built into the Horner. Then what we do is we actually add our variables that we want to add to this report. So again, this represents one line of the report, then these are all the variables that I want to store. So in my case here, I have mixer time, ingredient A time, ingredient B, ingredient C, and all I do is keep on adding if I want to, and it'll add more and more variables. I can have a maximum of 100 variables um, that I can log at any time, and I can have um, 30 of the um, uh, groups here. So here I can see I can have the remaining in this group I can have remaining 26 variables and my total is 96 now because I've used already four and that is it we once we hit OK we download this to controller and then what will happen is I will start our process by hitting F1 there's our tank filling up it will fill up it will then trigger um, our ingredients to come in and it'll continue mixing for the mixer time and then we'll empty the tank through the drain solenoid and then once it's done that and it's empty we will actually then get a logged um, data into our um, memory card so once we do that what we'll do is we will call up our FTP function and I can do that right now. So here's here's our FTP. Now this is using uh, Internet Explorer or, or, or Internet Explorer on our Windows, and we do FTP uh, 119.168.1.131. And you will actually notice that uh, when you do that, you uh, will enter your password. And we've done this in a previous video. And those links will be on our website. So once I've done that, I've got my trigger, 
we'll do a quick refresh and then if I call that up and it calls up Excel and here's my line right here that I've just programmed so just to prove that we we are doing it we'll start that sequence once again so right now I have two lines right the next one will be the third line and it will then tell me exactly when I did that we'll just let that run through the sequence so again no programming at all in the controller everything's all done through your menu system and that once again is through the program and through the data log configuration you program anything you want here and then you um, automatically run your program or, or enable it and it can either by trigger or by time so again call up our tank we're just about empty okay it's logged it now so let's do a quick refresh call that up and sure enough here's our next parameter so very straightforward very easy now if you like to see this video and like to see more there are three ways you can help us out you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information on YouTube you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video um, you can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website then if you do that notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site you'll also be getting two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging and the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend and colleague about the site now all the links that you've seen um, on this video are all located on our website and they can be downloaded um, and that's at accautomation.ca all right that's it for now thanks for watching